Repetitively pecking trees appears to give woodpeckers brain damage, a new study has found. The bird's rapid jabbing causes them to suffer 14 times the force that leads to concussion in humans. But despite showing signs of severe head trauma, woodpecker brains function normally, researchers found. Scroll down for video. Researchers at the Boston University School of Medicine studied pickled woodpecker brains to see how pecking affects the woodpecker's head. They found that over time, woodpeckers build up a large amount of a protein called tau, which is associated with brain damage in humans. Large amounts of the protein is also associated with Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia, but despite having high levels of this protein, the birds appear to suffer no adverse effects. The findings from the team could help humans with understanding neurodegenerative diseases and how to treat them. Woodpeckers are protected from severe head trauma because they shield their brains with their tongue, which wraps around the inside of their skull. A number of previous studies have looked at how this mechanism protects the brain from injuries, but the new study is the first to look at whether or not the brain appears damaged, the researchers said. Study co author Dr. Peter Cummings said, there have been all kinds of safety and technological advances in sports equipment based on the anatomic adaptations and biophysics of the woodpecker assuming they don't get brain injury from pecking. The weird thing is, nobody's ever looked at a woodpecker brain to see if there is any damage. The study used pickled bird brains from the collections of the Field Museum and the Harvard Museum of Natural History to examine them for accumulation of tail. George Farah, lead author of the study explained, the basic cells of the brain are neurons, which are the cell bodies, and axons, which are like telephone lines that communicate between the neurons. The tail protein wraps around the telephone lines, it gives them protection and stability while still letting them remain flexible. In moderation, tail proteins can be helpful in stabilizing brain cells, but too much tau buildup can disrupt communication from one neuron to another. Professor Cummings added, when the brain is damaged, Tau collects and disrupts nerve function, cognitive, emotional, and motor function can be compromised. The researchers took thin slices of the preserved brains of downy woodpeckers and red-winged blackbirds who do not suffer brain injuries from pecking as a control. The slices of brain tissue were then stained with silver ions to highlight the tau proteins present. They found the woodpeckers' brains had far more tail protein accumulation than the blackbirds' brains. However, while excessive tail buildup can be a sign of brain damage in humans, the researchers noted this might not be the case for woodpeckers. Mr. Farah said, we can't say that these woodpeckers definitely sustained brain injuries, but there is extra tail present in the woodpecker brains, which previous research has discovered is indicative of brain injury. Professor Cummings added, the earliest woodpeckers date back 25 million years, these birds have been around for a long time. If pecking was going to cause brain injury, why would you still see this behavior? Why would evolutionary adaptations stop at the brain?
there's possibility that the Tau in woodpeckers is a protective adaptation and maybe not pathological at all. They added the knowledge about woodpecker brains could help make American football or rugby equipment safer for kids. Professor Cummings said, if the Tau accumulation is a protective adaptation, is there something we can pick out to help humans with neurodegenerative diseases? The door is wide open to find out what's going on and how we can apply this to humans. The study was published in the journal PLOS One.